Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Green Mahim and today I am bringing you the 12th episode of the Melee segment for my Countdown to Ultimate series. In the last video we played through Classic, Adventure and All-Star mode with Captain Falcon. Today we're going to round out with the last of the original 12. If you do enjoy this video please leave a like rating to show your support for this series. And we're starting with Somos. Now see, I don't normally like using Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff's really good in this game, as I'm sure many of you are aware. So, this this might actually work out quite well for me, as long as I can get some rests off. That I, uh, I'm playing Classic on hard, so... I don't know how I didn't hit that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna need to, like... I'm not great with Jigglypuff, so I'm probably gonna need to get, uh... I'm probably going to need to set up with Sing or something if I want to get any rests off. Although I probably shouldn't even bother trying to get it at all, really. I, could, I just should probably just back a spam like Hungrybox does. That's the most likely way I'm going to kill all these uh, characters. Come on, out you go. No! Wait, Giant Puff? Giant Puff? Giant Puff? Giant Puff? Come on. Yeah! It worked. Ah. And then we just get Fox and Falco next. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm ready for this. Just some uh, top tier brawling. Why not? Or is it, I, I suppose I should say top tier melee, but... This is this is a terrible episode already. <laughs> I kind of come into these with no idea of what I'm going to talk about, even though I should definitely have an idea of what I'm going to talk about. Oh my god. Falco's not taking any damage yet. At this point, I might as well just get rid of Fox first. How did I miss that? What the heck? There's just no way. Okay. Okay, how did Donkey Kong get a kill? But I couldn't get that rest, even though I was right next to him. Hello? And yes, I know, up throw to rest is a combo, but I'm no good at that. Oh, poor Chansey, I'm sorry. There we go. I don't know how that worked. But I'll take it. Break the, Break the targets. I remember I used to struggle with this one as a kid. But this is simple as long as you know to use pound for momentum. Oh, fuck. Alright, that's four, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah, that was two at the start. All right. This is simple enough. You just gotta do... Not that, no. That. 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 There we go. See? Nice and simple. You probably won't get them all if you don't use Pound, but if you do, you can get them all quite easily. Yoshi next day. Oh, I see what you're doing. Going, opening with the, uh... Opening with the egg lay. Ooh. Ooh. No. Oh, I wanted to use that bat. No. Ooh. What are, I'm, I'm so scared I'm going to die to freaking Yoshi of all characters, and it, that actually bothers me greatly. No. Oh, where did it go? I don't know where that... Oh, okay. It blew up. It's fine. I got... I actually just died to fucking Yoshi. I actually died to Yoshi. Yep. So if you're good at top tier melee play, then Jigglypuff's fantastic. If you're not, Jigglypuff is not good, apparently. Good. Good to know. Get out. I need a question of the day, and I want it to relate to Jigglypuff, but I don't actually know what. Hmm. You know what, let's go with this. Of the two pink Pokemon of Kanto, which do you prefer? Do you prefer Jigglypuff, or do you prefer Clefairy? Let me know why. I personally prefer Jigglypuff, because I, I, I think Clefairy looks fucking disgusting, and it annoys me just looking at it. 
Jigglypuff I actually find kind of funny, but Clefairy? Gross. No, I want to rest him. I want to rest him. There we go. That did not kill him. That killed him. Never mind. Okay. I don't know how it didn't just send him straight off the screen, but I guess Great Bay just has a large... I guess it's a large stage with how far you can go. There's actually quite a few of these Kirby Hat trophies as far as I remember. At least five of them for some reason. I don't know why. How? Oh. I'm not sure what's worse. The fact that a forward air sent that behind me or the fact that it was just shy of getting sent in there. So we go from Link to Young Link, huh? Alright, come here. Come here. Stop running away from me. I'm not even going anywhere. Yeah, I'm not trying to find anything. I'm just being a dick. Some of my inputs aren't coming out and it's kind of pissing me off because I don't know if it's just the controller or the game or if I'm just still in the middle of an animation and I'm not realizing it, although it really doesn't feel like that. Like, I'm pressing Z and nothing happens when I'm not even doing anything else. Stop fucking running! God, this is annoying. And where did it go? Where did the bat go? Yeah. Today isn't a day for melee. My video is going to be going up within an hour or two. For, or it'll be finished uploading in an hour or two for Captain Falcon. So I thought, you know what, I'll just record Jigglypuff and try and get that edited before the video actually goes live. So I can start uploading that. But playing this right now, I'm once again sort of regretting playing this game. But, you know, it's fine because I am surprised I didn't get killed by that as well. But it's fine because uh, once I have Jigglypuff done, I'll be onto the melee newcomers, which means I can actually play as new characters and I'll finally be to the important part of the melee segment of the series. Hooray. Oh my god, I've only killed two of them. Bro. I've killed two. My smashes just aren't coming out. My smashes aren't coming out. Why are they not coming out? No wonder I can't fucking kill anything. They just won't come out. It's not helping they're coming out as tilts as well half the time. Like they actually work either. Jesus Christ. Her up smash sucks too. Like, her only good smash is her fucking forward smash, I'm pretty sure. But even then, there's usually not a reason to use it over rest. Oh, I s Please, I want that one. Get out. You know what? Stay over there. There we go. Alright, there's two left. There's two left. Keep away from him. Just in case it's a bomb. No. I'm not dying like that. And I'm not dying to the last one either. I refuse. There we go. Apparently, I could have just up throat them this whole time. I'm kind of annoyed that I only just found that one out. Now, Jigglypuff is one of the slowest characters in this game, as I recall. So, I'm not really looking forward to this. I'm actually going to be faster if I just jump with her all the time rather than running, so I think I'm going to stick to that. Oh, I see a Freezy Trophy down there, but that's going to... That's too out of the way. I can't get it. I might have already picked it up anyway. I could have actually gone down with Jigglypuff, but I think this way's still quicker anyway. This is surprisingly easy, actually. She runs slow, sure, but she has a lot of aerial momentum. Like, look how much time I've got left. Look at this. Look at this. This is e this is super easy. What the heck was that? 51 seconds to use Jigglypuff? Bro, 
She should have like 45. Yeah. All right, the ice climbers. Not looking forward to this. Actually, see, it had to be ice climbers, didn't it? I just thought maybe. Okay. What I was thinking was maybe I could sing and rest them and rest might actually send them far enough to kill them because they're metal. They may not be able to recover if it was anyone else. But because it's ice climbers, I could just get attacked by Nana while I'm trying to take care of Popo. But I mean, if they're just going to kill themselves like that, that saves me some trouble. Right, back air master hand. That's the tech. Back air master hand. That is the tech. Actually, I think forward air was doing more damage. Yeah, I think it was. Seems like I'm not fighting crazy hand this time. I took a little too long. Oh, well. Saves me some trouble, I guess. I think we all know how I've got to finish off Master Hand with Jigglypuff, though, right? I'm sure you do. Ow. Why is she screaming in pain at 9% as if she's about to die? That's not okay. There we go. Yeah! So, Adama Classic. Hooray. Probably the most boring commentary in this entire series yet. So, what's the trophy we've got for Jigs then? Literally just the same as her falling animation. How... How wonderful. How... Interesting. For lack of a better way of putting it. I see Hungry Box with his family though. Let's move on. Time for adventure mode. Now the cool thing about Jigglypuff is all the stages like Brin's Star and Mushroom Kingdom. With Jigglypuff I can just go over the entire thing very easily so I don't have much to worry about. But the ones where I actually have to fight, I'm not looking forward to. But as long as I can keep all my lives on the stages I can just jump over, it's fine. Oh, I got the uh, Mario Bros. 3 music playing now. I forgot that I could actually play on the Mushroom Kingdom. See, nice and simple. I don't have to engage them at all. I can just jump right over them. And as I say that, I jump into one. Easy. Die. Alright, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Get out. You know, now that I have a capture card, actually, I could do a Let's Play of Yoshi's Woolly World. Would anyone be interested in seeing me do that? I haven't even finished that in my own time yet, but I... I you know, there's something about Woolly World that makes me just not want to pick it up whenever I think about playing it. Like, I, I've had a, a massive urge to play it recently, but every time I go to put... Every time I think about putting the disc in the console, I just suddenly don't feel like doing it. I don't know what it is about that game, but there's just something that prevents me from picking it up, even though I want to play it. But I'm hoping if I, do, if I did a Let's Play on it, then maybe, uh, maybe I could actually find it fun. Maybe I would actually have a reason to pick it up. I'm going to finish it in my own time before I do a Let's Play of it. But I, I actually really enjoy the game. Like, honestly, I I enjoy it more than the original Yoshi's Island. Like, because it's, it's basically similar gameplay, but you have the yarn gimmick as well. And that just makes the level so much more interesting to me. I don't know why. It just does. I love it. I, th I think Yoshi's Wally World is a cute and really interesting and unique game. And yet, despite that, there's just something that prevents me from picking it back up again. I don't get it. Like, aesthetic aesthetically, it's one of my favorite games. But it, 
I just don't know why I don't pick it back up. It's not even that I dislike the gameplay. I'm usually not very fond of 2D platformers, but I actually love the gameplay for Yoshi's Woolly World. I just don't ever feel like picking it up, and I don't get why. I feel bad for it. But yeah, if I did a Let's Play on it, I'm sure I'd enjoy it. I don't know if I'd do a 100% Let's Play of it, though. As much as I'd really want to do it as a 100% Let's Play, I can't... I'd want to get everything on my first attempt at the levels, otherwise I'd have to go back and add, like, all my second attempts into the video again. And I just... I, I don't know. I, I feel like it would make things too long. And I'm sure there would be certain people that would just call me out on me being bad at the game or something. And I'm not about that. So I may just do a regular playthrough at the game. I, d I don't know yet. My boy Captain Yoshi though. He did a let's play of Yoshi's Island recently. It's a pretty good one. I suggest you check it out if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure I plugged him in the last episode. But I'm plugging him again. <laughs> He's partly why I want to pick up Yoshi's Woolly World again, because seeing that Let's Play has just reminded me of how much fun I have playing Yoshi's Woolly World, despite the fact that I never want to pick the game up. <laughs> so, uh, I, I guess it's thanks to him that I'm even considering that right now. But yeah? Fuck out of my face. Shooting your rocks at me. Where is the Triforce? I should have found it by now. It's kind of annoying me that I haven't. Where is the Triforce? In the very last area I have to check again. Nice. Love it. And there's a... I was trying to avoid that. And the like likes are so annoying in Melee. I mean, they're annoying in every Zelda game, but they're particularly annoying in Melee to me. I mean, they get rid of Link's shield in Ocarina of Time, so that in itself is pretty damn annoying, but I don't know, it's just like, they're so easy to kill in this game, and yet you always get hit by them, or at least I do whenever I try to kill them, or even avoid them, apparently. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. I'm not going to make a habit of doing that, because I don't want to get punished for it, but I felt good about that one. <laughs> Alright, we're a Brinstar. Hoping I don't die to Samus, but as a... Uh, once I've killed Samus, escaping planet Zebes will be pretty easy. Or Zebes, however you say it. I'm assuming it's Zebes. The Hebe Zebes. Oh, wow, I killed her. Nice. Didn't even take any damage for doing that either, and it was Rollout that killed her. I feel absolutely terrible. Is this my best run of adventure so far? How did I do shit on Classic with Jigglypuff? Yet, yeah, my adventure run with her is amazing. I mean, I am playing on normal, but still. I almost feel like I should have played on hard. But again, I'm not trying to make myself angry. And I'm sure Giga Bowser is going to completely destroy me just because of how easy Jigglypuff is to kill. Oh yeah, I got the trophy on this already. Cool. So we did that. We have seen this planet blow up already, so we don't need to see it again. Green greens. This first Kirby and the big Kirby, if I fight it, shouldn't be a problem. But the team Kirby, I'm a little worried about. Because of how light I am. I feel like they might end up killing me. Ooh. Oh, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> he just, he just uh, ended his own life there. He gave me that. Thanks, I guess. I see a Jigglypuff Kirby right there. Oh, I can pound them. But can I hit them with pounding? That's the question. Because apparently I'm not I'm not very good at aiming pound, even though it's a 100% accurate. Well, not a move that never misses, but it has a hundred hit in Pokemon, so it's. Basically 100% accuracy. That's a little bit of lag there. Alright, the giant Kirby is here. I can probably just uh, use rest on this thing and kill it in one. I might try it since he's big. Okay, never mind. I didn't kill him in one at all. I thought it was supposed to be a one-hit KO move, but I guess it's not okay. I guess it's not against big enemies. 
Oh my god, no. There we go. Boom. How have I not lost a stock yet? Jesus. Next we've got Fox and potentially Falco, so I'm sure this is where I should lose it, if anywhere. Well, uh, for my first stock at least. I know there's other places where I'm more likely to use lose it. Oh, actually, thinking about it, Onet's going to be Hellwars Jigglypuff because Mr. Satin... <gasps> Mr. Satin can break shields. And Jigglypuff dies instantly if my shield or if her shield gets broken, so I gotta be careful not to shield against them actually. Fox. Oh, we're fighting Fox again, I see. Star Fox music is really good. Star Fox games are really good. The voice acting, not so much, but the games? Well, actually, Command and Adventures can eat my balls. I like playing them, but they're bad games. But the others? Including Zero? They're, I'd say they're all good. Well, maybe not the first two either, actually. I mean, I've not played the original uh, Star Fox game, but... I tried a bit of Star Fox 2 and there was like half a second of delay on the fucking game. And I was playing it on the SNES Classic. So, you know, that, that just makes me think the first game isn't very good either. Actually, I'm not sure if that was just for the walker though. I only controlled the walker. Because I was mostly watching my brother play the game since he wanted to try it out. And, um, like, I only controlled it when I was using the walker. So maybe it's fine in the R-Wing, but in the walker it's bad. I don't know. But yeah, that, that game didn't give me a good impression of what little I played of it. Oh, wow, okay. So you can use Earthquake on a different platform above me, yet you could still kill me. Makes sense. That's fine. Go Charizard. We just got Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard all in a row. Nice. Come on, die. Die. This is taking too long. Fuck. Die already. There we go. Now, see, there's something I want to try on this uh, big blue stage here. Because Jigglypuff doesn't run very fast. So I want to actually try using Rollout and see how far I can get with it. That's already miles further than I would have gotten just by running normally. Look how far I'm going. Oh my lord. <laughs> what a great strat. Jigglypuff might actually be the fastest character in the game with rollout. <gasps> what the f- There's just no- Wait, when? What? Oh, I just lost a stock to Venusaur. That's right. But there's just no way I lost a stock like that. You hate to see that happen, man. Thank you. Okay, Captain Falcon, come here and catch the puff. Catch the puff. There we go. Yeah! I don't know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> the video's pretty much over whenever you say things like that, but I, I don't know what to say. Like, Woolly World is pretty much all I had to talk about. Now I don't know what to say anymore. Uh. Then again, I should probably focus on this level anyway, because this is the level I was worried about, because of all those Mr. Satins. They're oh! <laughs> okay, it didn't break my shield instantly. I thought they did. Maybe it's just Peach's Mr. Satin that does that then? I thought it was all of them, but I... Man, I don't know. Why is Mr. Satin even an item? Why did that kill? Hold on, come here. I'm about to do the same to you, little boy. Come here. Out. 
Jigglypuff. Yo! I wonder if Jigglypuff's gonna be dumb in Smash Ultimate. Probably not. But can you imagine if Melee Puff just returns? The return of the back hair god. Oh, yikes. They are flying when I attack them. Good lord. I've got a polar bit. Oh, they don't die. Okay. you got to attack them a few times to kill them, I think. But the, the, the little hairball things die pretty easily, apparently. Even to Jigglypuff. I completely butchered that. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, come on. Come on, come on, let me up. Let me up, let me up. Eat, 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 eat. E e get the fuck it. No, don't don't make the platform fall. I had a kill. I'm getting kind of hun hungry actually. I might eat after this video, bro. There's just no way. Oh, the wife. I've got the Metal Mario Bros to fight. It's Jigglypuff. Oh, see that's. A see, I could have tested the Sing theory there, that I had, but there's two of them again, so I can't do that. I have to kill one of them before I can try it. Or just put them both to sleep at the same time somehow, but that's unlikely. Dang it. Whatever. At least a wireframe should be easy to kill. All I've really got to do is, like, up throw these guys, don't I? Assuming I even can, because they'll just hit me with a bunch of aerials on their way down to me. And I'm already a very floaty character, and they've made things even floatier. Actually, can I kill them with pound? I can. Yeah, that's much better than up throw. Hold on. What I might do actually is go off stage with Jigglypuff and see if I can bait the Metal Bros off to me. Because if I can, if I can bait them to come after me off stage, that would be a pretty easy way of killing them. Die, die, die! No, die. Actually, why do the wireframes not appear in classic mode in this game, actually? I just thought about that. Like, the polygons, I'm pretty sure, appear in classic in Brawl, uh, in Smash 4. The alloys appear in Brawl. I know there's a me fighting team in Smash 3 DS and Wii U. I think this is the only game where, like, the, uh... The multi-man melee enemies don't actually appear in classic mode to some extent. It's kind of strange. All right, come on. Jump off. Follow me. Follow me. No, that's not what you're su That works. Okay, right. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Never mind, no I'm not. Can I even put Luigi to sleep while he's got a metal coat on? I might not be able to do that, actually. Fuck, I missed. But thankfully, melee C CPU loft to jab. So that would have worked. At least it worked on Luigi, I guess. I didn't lose a stock against the Metal Mario Bros. I honestly thought that that would be the place I'd lose a stock the most, but apparently not. Now, if I can just not lose a stock to this Bowser, I might be fine against Giga. Giga's almost certainly gonna take a stock from me, even if I do get a rest off. No, no, ugh. Right, you're, you're gigantic, so I can rest you quite easily. Yeah. But the question is, can I get a rest off on Giga Bowser? I hope I can. But I'm kind of scared about it. He's so big. So he's, it, like, he's super big. So I should be able to hit him with rest pretty easily. But I'm worried the rest hitbox is weird on Giga Bowser. So I won't be able to get it. But if I can land Sneeze of Justices and uh, Mario Forward Airs with, with the sweet spot easily on Giga Bowser, then I should be able to get a rest on him. There we go. I got one. But he didn't go anywhere. I was kind of afraid of that. How did it send... How did, how did that send me behind him? Oh my god. Help me. Oh, oh I almost got sent off. That killed me. Ugh. Yeah, I figured he was going to do that, bitch. 
Fuck off. Taught me. Alright, so, adventure mode was simple enough with Jigglypuff, thankfully, but that's not the hardest part of this, is it? It is all star that I have to worry about. Hopefully, that does not prove to be a detriment. Aw, oh, what a cute picture. Next, we go to All Star. The worst of them all. Honestly, kind of considering playing this on very easily, just because of how easily Jigglypuff dies. I feel like I'm going to get too many game overs and just lose a bunch of coins. Why is Pichu on four side? I need answers. Get out. Actually, I don't need answers. I just uh, really want to know. All right. Who's next? Luigi. Uh, I see there's no particularly dangerous characters near the end. The only top tier I see near the end is Jigglypuff. But I'm not even worried about Jigglypuff. All right, let's get this Pokeball. Ugh. Oh. Well, that was a shit Pokemon to wait. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Luigi, come down here. Come down here. Come down here. No, don't get that. Come to Blossom, you twit. No! Oh, and Blossom's gone now. Crap. Blossom was like the perfect Pokemon for me to get, and I just completely fucked it up. Could you imagine if that was a misfire, and I just died right there? That would have been dumb. Alright, pitch. It's time for some pitch. Come here, pitch. No. Oh. I'm 182% already. This is only the third character. Get out of here. Ow. You know, it's kind of interesting that they took the castle from Super Mario 64 and then incorporated the switches from Super Mario World into it. It's just... And the Banzai Bill from Super Mario World as well, actually, now that I think about it. It's kind of strange that they put Super Mario World stage hazards on the Mario 64 stage. But now that I think about it, it's pretty cool as well that they incorporated several Mario games into one stage like that. Get out. No. I have a shell with your name on it. How did you stop? Okay. Oh, I missed. Get out. Get out. Leave. Get out. Leave. You're not welcome here. Alright, Jigglypuff and me. Wait, I will puff. Oh, that was Kirby at the end. Yeah, I've got no one to worry about near the end then. Never mind. Alright. Jigglypuff is not a threat to me, but Mewtwo. I don't think he's really a threat either, because he's bad in this game, but I, I don't want to get hit by his smashes. There we go. Okay. That worked out. Who's next? Roy and Fox. Yep, I am getting a heart now for sure. Absolutely not dealing with Fox's up smash or up hair or anything of Roy's when I'm on 100%. I, th I think I think Pound is actually good for taking out shields though, if I remember right. Hmm, I'll have to keep that in mind. That was a convenient hammer. Alright, let's see. Yoshi and Donkey Kong. They're no trouble at all either because Donkey Kong is... A giant target, which just means he's easy for me to hit with my aerials and rest. And Yoshi is Yoshi. He's bad. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Out. Get out. Get out. No. I can't take too much damage after calling you easy. There we go. Now we have who? Link and Captain Falcon. A little bit dangerous. But nothing too harmful, hopefully. I wonder if I can just back throw them off here. Let's find out. Ugh. Ugh. 
Alright, come down here, Link. Oh, I almost lost my shield there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he saved Link. No. Oh! That's what I wanted. No. Oh. Dombey. I am a Dombey. Fuck off. That's what I wanted. Why couldn't I have done that the first time? Man. And now we've got Marth and Falco. Marth can break my shield extremely easily if he actually bothers to use his neutral B, so I've got to be careful around him. I don't see much of Mewtwo King in Smash 4. And it, it's kind of a shame, because I really enjoy watching him play Marth in Melee, but I, I, I prefer watching him play Smash 4, because I prefer that game anyway. So, I, I wish I saw more of him. I hope he's around a lot in Ultimate. Considering that he tries to be good at every Smash game, and it's basically like, you know, as the name implies, the Ultimate Smash, I'm sure he'll try and learn it. So, hopefully we'll see him around in tournaments a lot for that game. Okay, let's see. Bowser, Doc, and Ices. Not the greatest matchup ever. Bowser's simple enough. I don't really want to be on this stage after what happened with Luigi, though. Get out. Alright, the Ices are gone. Doc is gone. Bowser's gone. Nice. See, as long as you're not the one to get hit off of the edge there, this is a really good stage. It's high risk, high reward, I guess, if you play like I just did. Especially if you're on higher difficulties. Alright, Ganon's gone. I, I don't really feel like trying to rest Mario because he's so small. Oh my god, no. No. Alright, never mind, I got Mario. Zelda I can't hit. Apparently. Her down tilt spacing just enough that I can't hit her with the rest. Yeah, I'm feeling really hungry. I'm going to need to get some food once this is over. Alright. These guys. All of the children before the, uh, the Mr. Children. I guess in a way, uh... Jungle Japes is sort of like Lost Woods. I mean, DK knows them well enough, but I'm sure they're easy to get lost in if you're not familiar with them. Ow. That sounded like it hurt, actually. To this day, I still don't understand why Rest is like a... Uh, very good kill move when it doesn't even do damage in Pokemon. Like, what's that about? What was Sakurai thinking when he decided that? Oh, damn. I was going to kill with an up smash. He didn't let me disrespect you. That's on four. Oh, well, we only have the black man left. Let's get it. Time to slay all of them. Be gone. Be gone. All of you, get out of here. Eat my slap. Eat them all. I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get a cool kill on the last one. I just want to be done. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're done with this episode then. That was Jigglypuff in Super Smash Bros. Melee. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, again, please leave a like rating to show your support for the series and the channel. Try to upload these as regularly as I can. Uh, be sure to leave a comment answering the question of the day, which is do you prefer Jigglypuff or Clefairy and why? As well as letting me know what you thought of the video. Links to my Twitter, ser uh, Twitter server, 
My Twitter page and my Discord server and my Twitch channel are in the description. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this series as well as other Let's Play content. With that all being said and done, DK's face is also a mood. I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.